our SCP Intelligent RPA product features. What is the latest? Because this week we have a tech ad ongoing. So actually there are bigger announcements happening this week and, and also share a bit about the roadmaps um, look into the future. So before I jump into the details of our solution, I just want to take a step back um, in SAP with our product portfolios. Um, RPA actually fits into the area we call process excellence. It doesn't matter um, you know, whether you have SAP systems or um, um, a legacy systems or non-SAP systems, all the different processes that from the very beginning of understand the process, a uh, lot of customers use process mining tools to understand what is exactly happens to my uh, most critical processes. And also people also spend a lot of time to do integrations with different processes that is normally jumping between different, uh, you know, service or sorry, software providers. And also, again, when people build new business processes and also for tedious tasks, menu, uh, repetitive works, that is where automation platforms will jump in to eliminate that kind of um, uh, dragging process of um, um, for example, Excel or PDF documents, get that information into our system. This is where the automation platform is really play a role here. So for SAP Intelligent RPA, what, you know, who exactly are our targeting users? Uh, what exactly we're offering and the, what is the business value behind that? Um, for our tool, it is a combination we are targeting both expert developers who are more familiar with uh, building bots, uh, using different JavaScript language, a little bit more technical background. We are also targeting the people we call citizen developers. Normally they are, uh, I would say business key users. We see a strong trend that uh, a lot of tools like RPA are pushing to a no code, low code flavor. And instead of previously, we have two large group of people, one is business side just to provide the input and requirements, and then the IT side to pick it up, to digest what you exactly really want and to start a real development cycle. We see there the trend that um, more and more business users will be included into the bot development phase with a local no-code flavor platform. And this is definitely something I feel is very attractive uh, from our um, product portfolio. And also uh, this platform touch different, um, you know, automate different tasks across different line of business, across different industries. Later, I will also share some links with the detailed use cases. For majority of the Swiss bots, um, a lot of our customers, they not only have SAP backend system, but have a lot of uh, uh, surrounding applications as well. We handle a lot of customer use cases. This, they basically, before manually digest thousands of lines from Microsoft Excel, uh, read hundreds of uh, account payable related documents, remittance device, payment device, as a PDF from the Outlook, and then manually read all the informations and then key into the backend system. This is definitely the very typical three spots that automation is play a role. Um, and also for between the systems, um, which may not have the kind of native integration uh, at this moment, automation could be a very straightforward short turnaround patch to bring the bridge between these two systems to make things easier. Um, and also um, definitely there are a lot of uh, integrations with innovation technology besides automation, such as machine learning or chatbot is also very common into the use cases that we see from our customers. Um, here are some further links. I won't go through them one by one today, um, but it summarized based on different line of business or based on different industries, what are the existing and most popular use case. Maybe it will help you to explore uh, in your own team, in your own company. Okay, let's jump. Let's jump directly into the, the solution, our product itself. 
Um, I like this page a lot because it really uses a one pager to explain a lot of things. <laughs> uh, let's focus on the left side first. This is basically the major uh, building blocks of our product. You can see that we have a so-called cloud factory in the SAP cloud platform. It is handling a lot of monitoring, orchestration, configuration of all the bots. And also we have the development environment, which is this blue bubble, uh, green color bubble, that this is where all the bots developers come in to build their applications, build the work uh, workflows of the bots. And also for the desktop agents, this is basically in the hands of business users. They will install this little component either on their own laptops or on some workstations. So these bots will be uh, mimic some of the tasks on behalf of a business user to trigger things such as post uh, finance document, trigger some uh, HR related business process and workflows. So basically these are the three major building block. And also you may notice there is a little um, bot store here. Uh, I, will, I will definitely jump into this uh, later because this is one of our uh, key differentiators compared with our competitors. And then uh, if we take a look at the right side, this is basically to focus on the possibilities of integration. So first of all is our SAP Intelligent RPA has no dependencies of any uh, SAP systems. Of course, we're doing a much better job to integrate with our own backend systems, such as the most typical digital core, including uh, ECC or S4 HANA on-premise, S4 HANA Cloud, and also C4 and rest of our SaaS solutions, that's for sure but also we integrate very well with non-SAP solutions, third-party tools, different internet portals, and all these um, most um, typical applications like Excel, Outlook, Word documents, we have um, directly inbuilt connectors, libraries that we can integrate easily with these uh, applications. So basically as a summary, from the integration side, there's no dependency, there's no limitation. Our platform works very well with all of the um, applications. So talking about, you know, what is our key differentiator? SAP Intelligent RPA uh, has been on the market for a slightly around two years. We are not the one, you know, has been on the market from the very beginning, but definitely we have a strong differentiator or key points that differentiate us or provide extra values to the customers. So I will walk through that uh, with you. So first of all, we're talking about integrations. Um, we have uh, in our platform, uh, we have native connectors to SAP GUI, SAP Fiori. These are, I don't know, it roughly come up with uh, more than 50% of chance that we see a lot of customers doing an RPA use case. They have to somehow apply to their backend system. Majority of cases is SAP. And with native connectors, it makes the development work much easier. And, and the performance or runtime of these bots definitely shows much better than the other competitors. And also our um, platform also provides API exposures to the external world. So for example, you can also call into an API at any point to our platform, use the API to trigger our bots instead of a manual click or kind of a scheduled background job. That gives a lot of flexibilities to leverage the non-SAP surrounding or SAP surroundings to give the SAP, uh, API kick. And the, and the other way around, uh, our platform also be very easy to consume different APIs. Then here it means, for example, in the innovation way, uh, talking about APIs from chatbots, from conversational AI, from machine learning services, such as you know to use OCR or more advanced OCR services that track extract information from invoices or um, uh, orders, uh, sales orders. Um, this can be also easily integrated. Um, I think these are definitely um, 
um, what we have and what's really shine for today. And in the near future, we will have even more native integrations with more SAP, SAP Cloud Platform related um, services, such as uh, workflow management, Spotlight. Spotlight is something is very light, helped you to do a, a kind of a process mining process on your existing ECC system. So a lot of uh, good things uh, to come. And the second point, uh, I think I, I talked about already, right? We want to push it, we want to lower the bars that to allow more and more business, business people inside this bus development phase. Um, you can see this is the, uh, the, the, our Cloud Studio uh, interface. It is very straightforward and it has a lot of a drag and drop elements inside to allow a citizen developer uh, to create their own workflow. And also we have a very strong um, community out there. We have a lot of people contribute content, ask questions, provide answers, write blogs with step-by-step -step instructions for most typical use cases. And these people come from SAP, from partners, from our customers as a nice ecosystem. And the third part, which is also the one of the best differentiators, uh, we offer a pre-built uh, pre -built bots template. This is a public link. Later, if you are interested, you can create, you can open it up. And this is basically a repository of the bots template that we offer for free to our customers. And you can you can check that it it put into different uh, categories. Um, it can be based on different versions, uh, different S4 versions, cloud versions, as for on-premise versions also ECC success factors. And also it put into different, uh, different uh, line of business as well and with different uh, functionalities. Uh, you can pick and choose to take a look at what exactly is offering. Each of the bus templates have been maintained to accommodate different versions of the backend system. We also provide very detailed configuration guide and the package, the template, the coding itself to our customers. So this is definitely something that I would recommend uh, everyone to explore. Okay, so let me come to this page. Uh, we talk about the solution overview, the key differentiators. I just used to summarize the page that this is our uh, customer success story, a reference uh, corner uh, collected by our product team. I know our friends later will share even more concrete uh, customer stories, but this is just for your reference to read. And the exciting news that if you, you may already know that this week we have the virtual event of Tech It ongoing. And normally, you know, with the habit of SAP, we announce a new product during Tech Ed week. And we officially announced uh, SAP Intent RPA 2.0. Basically, this is the version where offer you not only the on-premise uh, development environment, but in parallel, you, you also have a cloud version of development environment that one pushes more towards the bus uh, business uh, developer, citizen developer role to allow more people to use drag and drop features to create the bots. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you to click on this link to look at ongoing RPA related sessions in the Tech 2020. It happens this week. Some of the sessions may uh, finished already if they happened on the 8th or 9th, but some of them will have recordings available. So it's also a nice place to uh, explore. Okay, this is almost, I'm using up, almost re using up my, uh, my time, but this is also a nice uh, slide here, just to give you a little bit um, uh, uh, forward looking points from our roadmap. Um, from our roadmap, there are a lot of things happening every quarter, but if we summarize that we're going to push very hard on the Cloud Studio. So right now, this week, we launched this Cloud Studio in the version 2.0 and try to push for low-code, no-code activity. And with the quarters, months moving forward, there are going to be even more, um, I would say, features add into the Cloud Studio, including, for example, uh, record and play to really eliminate the development effort 
for uh, any uh, RPA um, uh, bots. And also uh, we're gonna uh, have even more um, integration or bots template offered in our store, which gonna be expand focus on solutions like SuccessFactor, Ariba, and of course the ECs and S4 bots are already keep expanding with already a, a long list that we have today. And also the third focus for us is that we're gonna push very hard on the uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence infusion. Um, we, we, we see there is a lot of use cases for document processing. Our tool now today already have a native embedded PDF extractors. If you are talking about readable PDFs, we have uh, document information extraction, uh, business machine learning services to help extract a lot of PDF image-based PDF services and use API integrations to our RPA platform to handle a lot of document processing. And our platform is also open up to any you know, machine learning services out there from the um, famous hyperscalers. So it is uh, basically an open world. And also um, we will work a lot with the natural language processing integration part as well. So for detailed product roadmap, uh, there is also a link here. I encourage you to explore where it summarizes um, based on each quarter, what exactly are the items that we're gonna push out. And try to remember RPA is definitely a, a product we move really fast. Uh, just based on the last two years experience is almost every month there are gonna be some new features, the new, new good surprises coming up. Okay, I'm gonna uh, quickly summarize here. Um, you know, we today we talk through a little bit of motivation for this platform, uh, what we are offering as a product, what are our key differentiators, and especially we we almost go through 2020 with 2021 still at least in US, where we still have uh, you know remote service, remote working, um, remote working environment gonna. Uh, be there for a little bit longer. I think automation has been a, a very hot topic for the last uh, even one year and a half already. So I, I highly encourage you to uh, contact us, contact our partner team as well. If you are interested to learn any um, a deep dive sessions or any specific points that you may want to explore with us. And uh, here's the last page, some more links that for you to try it out. Especially I want to highlight that uh, we also offer free trials for our uh, personal uh, accounts. And there is also um, open free uh, online SAP courses if you want to get your hands dirty. So these are the nice, uh, nice starting points you can um, start to explore with our product. Okay, I will quickly pause here. <laughs> I think I used uh, exactly around 20 minutes of this session. Let me stop sharing and uh, I will hand over to you. Thank you, Renee. Thank you very much. That was definitely very informative. Um, a lot of new stuff is coming into RPA. So that's a great news. I think uh, SAP community was waiting for, um, SAP user community was waiting for, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear Okay, you. good, good. So SAP user community was waiting for RPA from, and well integrated RPA from SAP. Now we have that solution. Uh, of course, uh, some of the customers have, a dilemma of whether they shift from existing RPA solutions to SAP, and I think this should be a no-brainer. So let's uh, thank you very much uh, for that. And I now, uh, once you have, uh, so there are two things. One is you need somebody to make sure uh, that they understand your pain points. They understand where you can use this tool effectively and how it can be utilized, how much you need, uh, and I think all that stuff, and that's where partner like us comes into picture <clears throat> and, and help you to um, ease that process of, uh, of uh, def definition and, and implementation of the IRPA into your environment. So I like this image. This came from one of the SAP's presentation is how, uh, uh, how effectively the RPA has been uh, position. So if you look at the 
key parts of the body you have the brain which is thinking which is machine learning you have your your cords vocal cords so listen and speak so that conversational ai and chatbot and you have the heart and that's the uh, intelligent application and you have arms which execute that's your intelligent uh, robotic process automation so today we are talking about and of course sap does all of this now as part of the cloud platform different offering than the cloud platform but our focus today is irpa <clears throat> um i'm sh sure some of you might have seen this slide um this also comes from sap standard slides so um, irpa uh, i mean there is a clear difference between rpa and irpa so sap definitely brings that value of intelligent it has been very successful into shared service automation financial is the second largest financial transformation a lot of transactions which you recurring uh, recurring transactions labor is transactions uh, mechanical work that can be converted so gl gl related information ap ar and i think there is a lot of opportunity to automate them uh, customer service automations uh, operation automation so manual task automation monitoring and visibility this can be into your areas like uh, <clears throat> user ids log ons um, those also are good candidates and then finally data management so onboarding uh, employees and customers consistent master data verification of the master data so we can do that using uh, so broad range of uh, applicability the first one i'm going to talk about so of course as you know uh, just going to go back sap uh, has taken a step further so they bought this organization from outside who were in one of the who was one of the top 7 uh, in the world and they did a very good job of integrating that into the sap stack so that includes the cloud platform um very good hooks into the sap so that you can even call bapis directly from rp and i'm going to talk about that how that interesting is and what they have done is they have provided many uh, out of the box templates uh, for customers to implement and that actually expedites the implementation process now we can do the rps in actually days not weeks or months we can we can do rpa scenarios and days another good part about rpa is typically traditionally one of the biggest challenge of implementing uh, implementing digital transformation processes in sap is sap is complex right and there are huge user base so anything you need to touch to the core of the system so change in configuration change in abap code it's always been painful because it needs to be tested it needs to go through the transmission process and by the time it reaches production half of the people already lost the steam so um, that is not the case with uh, rpa uh, the sap is rpa you can perform these activities without touching the core uh, even calling the bap is also you can do without touching core no integration uh, it it just makes it uh, so easy uh, to implement and quick so first use case i'm going to talk about is we had a customer uh, this is a very interesting case um, customer is a global uh, life sciences organization they have presence they are probably top 5 in the world uh, yeah they are in top 5 in the world and they have over 200 subsidiaries and their core business so one of their subsidiaries um, they wanted to go into a higher degree of digital transformation and uh, the gentleman there um, he wanted to achieve more and uh, uh, prepare a good showcase for rest of the organization while meeting the regulatory requirement of course they were driven by regulatory requirement and one of the requirement was to have the mobility application for plant maintenance now when we started discussing with their central it central it was not ready to allow to integrate with the back end create abap because now they have to test 200 subsidiaries uh, and all the core processes so um, a thought came up is that how about we use rpa to download and upload the data from sap 
without uh, making any integration without making any changes and um, that worked out well everybody liked it so there is no uh, direct connectivity we can still download the data we can still upload the data and we are getting that data into cloud platform and developing mobile application from there um, so that's this is the uh, use case for that so we are downloading the pm order details and we are uploading the operation confirmations very very different use case um, not high volume but it's a use case where we are eliminating the touch points with the sap the second one is sales uh, sales inquiry i'm sure you guys uh, encounter this very common uh, you get sales data you get in spreadsheets and there are people who are entering into the system we can get uh, away from that it's tip very mechanical uh, without doing any integration we can create this uh, this is this is also sap provide standard and and we can help you to enhance them into a, a, a successful model third use case is the sales order automated upload uh, uh, down payments here you can see you have um, billing plan creation uh, creation of notifications um, and the user department and sending notification to user department and sales teams and then if there is any error handling those errors and putting it back into the right queue so we have that part uh, aligned here as rene said i mean we can create workflow we can create you no know, send notification it's pretty flexible and easy to use <clears throat> automatic creation of the sales orders uh, uploading from the excel mm. this is another use case purchase order confirmations supplier down payment requests upload of payment advice so that now we are getting into the financial side uh, there are a lot of payment adv advices comes through different mediums and we can automate them um, we can also <clears throat> another is we can also ocr to certain extent of course ocr engine is being perfected and getting to a maturity level uh, within the sap the irpa but we can read but there are other tools available from the sap's toolkit which we can use and we can basically ocr the hard copies uh, or the electronic uh, version of the hard copies and we can read the information and and run the uh, rp also general ledger entries uh, this is very popular and and, and highly utilized uh, there are three areas we have seen organizations very active one is finance another is hr and the third one is the logistics invoice status check and ensuring the invoices are in the right status or updating them where needed and, and so that that manual step is completely eliminated in most of the cases uh, there is a saving of anywhere uh, from uh, 50 to 80% uh, and and eliminating those manual not only reducing the manpower utilization but also eliminating those potential manual errors and and achieving that higher degree of uh, um, perfection uh, into the process <clears throat> so these were some of the key uh we wanted to share uh, there is a there is a list of around 180 um, total some of them are applicable to ecc some are applicable to different versions of s4 so depends upon where you, you are we can find out and we can help you to identify the right ones now uh, a little bit about crave infotech so we are a, a 13 year old company we have um, partnership with sap so that's uh, we are a war so we can sell almost everything which is sap has in the toolkit build and also service we are a Z we are also work with company called zebra technology who are uh, uh, leader into the scanning uh, mobile computing printing uh, and then third one is here technology and we also work with google map and we combine all these three um, global presence headquartered in new jersey in us 
and supported by offshore center in india so we uh, as i mentioned uh, sap zebra google here and amazon web services this is where we have key partnership uh, clientele uh, the utilities oil and gas life sciences then biotech paper paint chemical companies like siemens uh, manufacturing high tech uh, comscope is high tech manufacturing public sector and healthcare this is a sample list of customers what we are passionate about right so uh, irpa is a small subset of what we do the broader subset is uh, sap intelligent enterprise so that's uh, cloud platform uh, sorry my bad uh, that's ecc or s4 that's our erp core erp then sap cloud platform prepackaged solutions uh, i talked about zebra and the geo enablement and we do that in uh, warehouse management enterprise asset management field service and supply chain salesforce automation and connected assets and iot these are the areas we have around uh, 50 plus prepackaged applications which are available on app store ready to go they meet anywhere between 60 to 90% of customer requirements and rest we achieve through configuration or customization so if you have any needs into these areas uh, feel free to reach out this is a little bit about us industry so this is the list of all of our applications uh, starts from the enterprise asset management supply chain product life cycle management management dashboard order to cash so key focus is eam supply chain and then rest all are there so every one of them represents uh, an application which you can utilize and quickly implement and get the benefit out of it now regarding the uh, there is something special we are doing around the rpa so uh, we uh, along with sap we are offering one free poc uh for baseline scenario so that you can gain confidence you don't have to worry about getting cloud platform subscription what you need to do is provide us access to your system um that to also we are not doing any code change we are not touching your sap system uh, but we just need that uh, uh, interface uh, connectivity uh, to install the rpa uh, on one of your machines and uh, connect with your system we do it everything for you of course you will have to be involved from functionally in explaining the process uh, and um, once you are confident we can take it to the next level uh, so that is an offer available right now to do free poc um, in your environment so that you can gain confidence and see the value and the speed at which we can implement these rpas within your environment um, so bring us your top 3 robotic process automation challenges and strategic pilot uh, if you are struggling to kick start we will be happy to work with you uh, we also do a complimentary assessment whereby we can identify uh, and understand what you are doing now this applies to everything what we talked about not just the rpa and then help you to prioritize what you should do in case of cloud platform uh, we have a two week uh, enablement program where we Uh, help you to enable the cloud platform and also train your people so that you can do this yourself you don't have to rely on partners like us um, and you can reach out to us whenever you need help but you can do it yourself and realize the gain of what you have with that uh, thank you very much with that uh, we'll open up for q and a if there is any uh i do have a question rene um so rene about the um the ocr um what are the options available in rpa ocr and where do you see uh, some of this technology is uh, sap uh, rpa technology is moving uh, into that space yeah um that's a very good question so our product our intelligent rpa product itself uh it uh, if you open up the uh, our de um, development environment um where all the connectors are available 
Um, you already can see there's a PDF library there. Um, basically, it handles the kind of PDF that is readable, means you can copy and paste content from this PDF, not image-based. So if the PDF falls into that category, that can be handled by the RPA platform itself. But then for a lot of cases, we see a lot of image-based PDF. This is where uh, we normally we bring in the so-called document information extraction, the DOX service. This is just another service available on SAP Cloud Platform that it is already been trained uh, by SAP that it can extract the data and uh, put it into the right places. For example, um, company addresses, uh, order number, um, and currency, uh, this kind of keywords. Um, between these two services on SAP Cloud Platform, the DOX service, the machine learning service, and RPA, we use API migrations. And there has been a few blogs available in our community just to show you exactly what needs to be done step by step to make this use case happen. And this is a quite mature use case. And besides this, if our customers they have already, you know, they're familiar with other um, OCR vendors outside, like IB, uh, our platform also can consume external APIs, that's for sure. There's no question asked if that can be done easily as well. I hope I Thank answered you. Thank you, Rene. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And you also mentioned uh, that there are um, uh, free trial account available for users, right? Yes, yes. So um, if you go to that, um, the, I think the previous, I shared that link, um, basically for everyone, anyone who, who are interested in the product, they can have their free personal trial account. And this is created for the users to follow the open SAP course. And so you can have a kind of a playground. They can, you can test the, the practical use cases out when you follow the open SAP. And the open SP is also a free training uh, material out there, so. Excellent, excellent. Uh, thank you very much. I don't think we have any more questions. So I appreciate your time. We are right on the, uh, uh, at the time where we wanted to close. So if you have any questions, if you would like to reach out to us and know more about uh, how you can enable SAP RPA, uh, any uh, specific POC or use case, uh, please reach out to us at this contact details. And you can also reach out to Rene if needed. Uh, thank you very much. And have a rest of the nice, nice rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Rene.